Alrighty, hello everyone. I hope you're having a good day. So today we're going to be doing the structural, some more structural framing on the Nebulon. And then what I want to accomplish is really getting our floors prepared so that we have a general idea of what we want to go with. And just a heads up, as I haven't had any time at all in the past week, we're still where we... <laughs> Sorry, delightful sneeze right off the bat. But um, we haven't had any progress in the past week. So we'll be, we'll be changing that now. And my schedule is letting us change up a little bit. So here, let's switch over. And I forgot. Sorry, I was taking screenshots. We got our beautiful depth of field on. Oh, I study for mechanical engineering. Name every machine. Oh, oh, oh buddy. Don't even get me started. But so first off, you're going to notice like our plasma thrusters are quite red. So I am going to be changing those or well, not changing them, but actually bolting them properly. I think I might just do that off camera when I have time because that's just like there's a difference between infuriating me and being really boring. And that's just, that's just going to be real boring. But so we're going to sure up uh, these guys right here. And then I want to get make sure that these floors and everything are in place as well as our structural guidelines up here. And then we can start kind of figuring out how we actually want to do our floors. Because so I was talking with some people and we found out this very interesting thing that we could do on the Nebulon. Also, um, let me know if the music's too loud, because I think it sounds a little bit louder for me, but I think it's right on par with what the audio normally is. Since I switched back to my laptop, everything might be off for a couple streams. Um, but anyways, so, hey, Wolf, welcome. But so, what I'm, th what I was thinking, right, is, so this Nebulon, it's a huge ship. Like, there's no getting around it. This ship is insanely big. What if we were to do something such as having the front and back, if they were to say, you know, somehow get cut in half in the center, what if they were able to operate fully as two ships if it got cut in half? Because that's something we can easily achieve and that we will achieve. So getting something like that working. I'm going to connect this down here as well. Get these going. But having something like that would be really cool. Just having it so that it can work like that. Because I remember on the last Nebulon, we would lose a specific part of our ship or something. And we'd be kind of screwed from there on out. But right now, we're, we, we'd be fine. And uh, I haven't searched up the Eve ships, no. Um, I'll write that down, though. Oh, and thanks, Ranger. I appreciate it. Hell yeah. That is what we like to see. Thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. All right. And hopefully it'll go to good use with my ice cream money. It's now starting to turn into Chick-fil-A money. You guys know I have an addiction, so. <laughs> it's only a slight addiction. But, so, one thing I want to do is we're going to get all of these, all of these, um, beams hooked up and all of the plasma thrusters hooked up because once we have the plasma thrusters hooked up what the, what that is going to do once we have these it's going to give us a better structural graph of really how our ship is going to fly because right now we've only got those two hooked up so that means that it's it's slightly off balance and razu don't worry um Tuesdays and Thursdays will be streaming as well. So again, still gotta I should be able to do it normal times. I gotta work out the schedule to be a little bit more exact, but I'll be able to stream then. So 
you can watch out for that because that'll be happening. And I'm glad to see uh, that my videos helped you, Wolf. That's good to that's good to hear. Now to connect this. Um, <laughs> I mean, hey, you know, if there's a boring place and they're like, hey, let's make space sims, like, hell yeah, I'll play those. <laughs> All right, let's connect this. Let's see the horror. All right. Not too bad, actually. Um, I can barely see this on my monitor. It's actually really bright, um, like, outside right now. But it looks like there's barely any stress down there, which is really nice. Now, up here, we are going to be reinforcing these beams because, oh god, like, just... It's it's rough, <laughs> to say the least. So, first off, is this connected? Um, let me find where the actual attachment is. Oh, it's down here. Okay, so we need to hook up these two attachments. Yeah, it's it's probably not. Well, the red is from the red on the plasmas is from not it not being bolted, and I'm probably gonna do that off camera just because that is gonna be like insanely tedious. Um, like, not even, like, mind-numbing, it's just gonna be tedious. Wait, Ranger, do you mean the better the connection, the less stress? So, when you have a better connection, you've got more stress? Or is it... I know it's being more evenly distributed. Oh, oh yeah, of course. I thought you were just talking in general. I was like, wait a second, that doesn't sound right. Um, so Hyper, what we'll do is we're gonna have a thing in the Discord. Once the ship is actually fully built, we'll have a thing in the Discord, and if people want to be a gunner, they can. Uh, and we'll probably have to do a little screening process just because of how Starbase is nowadays. Um, but other than that, should be fine. Yeah, more force will be applied to the frame, but the thing about more force is it's not all, always bad, per se. Because, like, when we have more force, that lets us see where the distribution is, and the better an idea we have of the distribution, the better it's really just going to be for all of us. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something like this. Or it could connect it down vertically, but I'm not sure yet because we might be putting like a generator down here. But so we'll connect it down vertically from here. Ooh, yeah, that's a weird, that's gonna be a weird spot. Yeah, that's, that's a, that's a real sucky spot. Um, yikes. So we're gonna use a 96, a 72, and a 36 to get it just that extra 12 centimeters. Yeah, right there. And then we'll be able to do a vertical. And this all should be aligned. If it's not, that's not gonna be fun, but. We should be fine for now. And um, yeah, maximum virtual mass. Luckily, uh, the fewer, so we won't be having too many cargo crates on here, if any. So, we should get off not necessarily scot-free, but a little bit better uh, than if we did have like actual cargo crates, because the cargo crates are the main thing that applies to. And for now, we won't be, we'll definitely be putting some on, but for now, that won't be too much of an issue. All right, let's weld. Bolt and bolt. Remember, guys, when you're bolting your um, thrusters, you want to try and have it symmetrical. That way, the force is evenly distributed. Because honestly, one of the big issues is just the distribution. If it's not evenly distributed, you're going to be unhappy with uh, what happens. 
because like sometimes like even on my past ships uh they've been upset and it's because of the distribution of force not because the force was too much for the ship to handle it's just it was distributed weirdly right there we go okay so that should be all of the plasma thrusters are hooked up now so classic 0.5 warp class stemming from all of our plasma thrusters being red but let's see what our force is looking like so in terms of distribution it looks like this area is going to be handling most of the stress so what we want to do is we want to see how we can shore this up to make it a little easier but other than that we seem to actually have a really good stress map on here nothing's really pointing itself out so <laughs> this is going to be a lot easier than uh, what I had previously thought might be happening. Alright, so we'll just get these connected like this. This will provide a shortcut for the stress from down below, which will make it easy. Also gotta say, I just love this particular lo-fi soundtrack. Like, it's just... Mm. Let's see if this... Actually, I'm gonna modify these a bit because all of the stress from this beam, from down here is gonna be going onto this single beam and we don't want that. We wanna try and distribute it as much as possible across those separate beams. That way we have the little bit of space. Or, well, because if there's too much stress going through one beam, it's going to break, obviously. But if the stress is distributed across those multiple beams, we'll be fine. So we'll just do that. Alright, let's see what this does. Though actually, that's still in the same spot. We need to actually put them out a little bit further. <laughs> As in... Here. So this is a 36. We need this to be like a 50-some. So I think we need... A 36 and a 24. Uh, yes, I have played Sea of Thieves, a lot of Sea of Thieves. Um, I'm like literally one level away from uh, Pirate Legend, funnily enough. <laughs> like I got super close and then um, just never really finished it. And then 24 long corner beams. The, these guys that yeah that might actually be helpful I think we might have to rework a bit of the ship and add those in because that would make this a lot eventually a lot easier we'll use them from here on out though because that'll be helpful all right let's see the stress okay so still, pink is bad. The brighter the pink, the worse we are. Um, and okay, Ranger, maybe? We'll have to see. We'll try it out. But yeah, so pink is bad. Pink is bad. So let's try and connect vertically as well. Oh, I was gonna say if that worked perfectly first time, that would be so nice. Alas. All right, let's see. These connect well. Ooh, that's why they weren't connecting. It's because uh, we have to deal with the jankiness. Let's see if they actually do weld, though. If they weld, though, we're fine. 
they do well. So that's acceptable. Um, you've been on Twitch for about a year. Uh, do you stream as well? Because that's actually pretty dope. Let's, we'll use your thing, uh, Ranger. And uh, Plasma Thrusters? I think they do. I mean, if not, we can just... Like, they, they should. If they don't, I'd be surprised, because it was something that did work in CA reliably. Alright, and so now I want these to connect all the way up to the top. All right, hold up. There we go. All right, so we want it to be right here. And then I think that's a 36 or a 24. I think that might be, yeah, 36. Cool. We'll see what this does to the stress because this might either drastically change things uh, or done literally nothing. Okay, did literally nothing. So right now what I'm looking at is this stress right here where it seems to be coming from is from the left, either that or it's from the front of the ship, and we want to take the pressure off. So by do, what we can do is we can actually just, hold up, we can do this, this is easy. And, uh, oh, you've streamed? Yeah, it it's nice, but, um, you know, getting that core group is, really what what it's really aw awesome about that's what i really love streaming for the the friends we've made along the way and okay that did help a little bit and they're currently disabled because they might be powered by gas hmm if they are disabled that's going to be all right for us it it is going to be annoying but it's not the biggest issue um because this ship it might not be done by that time so and we we'll, we're gonna have to monitor that little area um, but for now I want to see so this beam right here that's a 192 I like having 192 centimeter hallways so if we were to put like a hallway here we could do that um, Uh, I don't have anything else that actually has a plasma thruster, um, like, actually powered up, so maybe not right now, but uh, we can test it in the, f in the near future. And okay, so there are actually two, two things I was thinking of, and I want you guys to let me know what you think. So I can either put a uh, hallway coming left and right out of here. Uh, for some reason or what I was thinking is these corner areas these triangular corners they become rooms themselves so like we could put a med bay in one and like something else in the other that roughly mirrors it um, so it's roughly stable but and honestly hyper there's probably a decent number of people because you know star bases roughly well it, it is from nordic countries so all right but so yeah what i'm mainly trying to do is get this stress off of that beam right there hey thanks for the sub gray i appreciate it that's awesome thank you so much a weld under the middle section um Okay, so a weld under the middle section. Like, are you maybe talking about this? Uh, silence. Because so I think everything else under here. Ah, uh, yeah, this. Um, you know, we can figure it out. Let, let's give her a shot. Um, okay, yeah. Let's, uh... Brace for curse. Brace for the cursed. Um, I think these are... Are these 45 degrees? 
Yeah. You do good. This is about to be fun. <laughs> oh boy. So we can't connect them normally. We can try that. All right, let's try this. If this works, that's gonna be really nice. Please work. No. Yeah, okay, that didn't work. Um, let's try if we connect like a small beam after it. Oh yeah, it's definitely cursed, but here's the thing. Hopefully no one's ever gonna see it again. So it, it will only be cursed to us. So we could put it like that, actually. That's actually not too bad. Now it is intersecting a little bit. Let's try. Let's try that. And uh, yeah, Gray. So I'm still slowly working on the bot. You know, my time is very little, and there's a lot to do because of the security issues that. Um, well, just the, the spam issues that we've been having and trying to get rid of that because it takes a lot of work to update it. <laughs> and considering the amount of time I've had in the past week, it's, uh, yeah. Ah, gotcha. Nice. Hey, Clorix, welcome. And ooh, yeah, no, I've got T-Mobile too. It sucks. It sucks so bad. I don't know what's up with T-Mobile. And hey, thanks for the sub, Texan. Hell yeah, appreciate it. Getting all kinds of subs today. Thank you guys. I love you all. And man, I wish we had the squares of weld. Like, that are supposed to replace those attachment plates because that would save our lives right about now. Um, let's see. Oh, Hype Train. Hell yeah! Thanks for the 100 bits, Ranger. I think this is the first hype train ever, so I, I, I don't know quite what to do. Hype it up, question mark? Oh, we're at 69%. Oh, it's too perfect. And we just got the weld right. Hell yeah. Thanks for the cheer, Ranger. Two cheers, thank you so much. And I'm glad that one hour one ship is able to help you out. I, I'm i really glad because that ship, like putting all that together was like the culmination of everything I'd kind of learned. Trying to wrap it up into that hour long video just, whew. Okay, so our weld, it it doesn't touch at all. Um, <laughs> it, it doesn't touch at all, but uh, it counts as welded to uh, multiple places. Hold on, hold on. What? I want to see this, because I think what's happening is that this is only, yeah, it's only connected to itself. So let's see if we can do this. It, it convinced you to buy Starbase. Oh. See, okay, one thing I've been wanting to work on is uh, a video that's... Holy shit, Ranger. <laughs> Holy crap. Dude, thank you so much. Holy... Alright, that that's a spam the chat kind of moment. Holy crap. <laughs> thank you, Ranger. That's insane. And it finally connects, so we've got this all the way. So we'll copy and do the same. That's a lot of people not reading the <laughs> email. And I'll be back on the uh, tutorial uh, grind this week as well. So keep an eye out for that. I think what I'm going to do is... Um, if the turrets actually start working for me, we'll do turrets, and then if we can, um, uh, like hinges, sliders, 
that kind of thing, but also device fields and basic YOLO. Thank you, Ranger. I appreciate it. And now we got, you know, we're never going to have to look at this again, but just appreciate how cursed this is to get it to actually connect. And it actually connects now. So I think that actually did relieve a little bit of stress. But <laughs> thank you, Texan. I, I saw that um, whenever I'm like feeling bad, I'll look at that comment because that comment is like, wow. And this is looking less pink than before, so that is good to hear. So I think what we'll do is we'll continue just hooking up what beams we have up here, because this area looks good. Yeah, just a bit more. <laughs> we just have a, a day where it's just like edgy sim day. Oh yeah, same Texan. Literally exactly the same. But, um, okay, I wanted to run this by you guys. I've been holding off for so long. I've been wanting it to do so, so much. But I think you guys will like this too. So, a lot of you guys know typical Star Wars ships. How they have the walls of blinking lights. Whether it be in the Death Star, Star Destroyer, something like that. Well, I was thinking we could do the same up here. So, by the power of Frozen Bite, we've been given these buttons that light up. And we can, like, we can have them blink in, like, different frequencies and stuff. Like, and we just have, like, a wall of these. And they could just be for decoration. But honestly, we could actually have these do certain things. Yeah, the perfect place for an Easter egg. Because what we could do is we could have them light up in a specific way for an Easter egg. Or we can just have them on the wall and have them display things like um, percentages of fuel and all of that in a really cool... Yeah. So actually, um, once we finish doing our structural beams, what we can do is we can kind of figure out what we want to do with the... Uh, with that bridge because that bridge is going to be the look pretty bridge this one's going to be combat so it doesn't have to look as good but up there is going to be the look pretty and i want to put a lot of design effort into that just because of i i want it to look real cool check ship ideas okay let me finish putting these bad boys on and then we'll do that now these beams that I'm putting in here, these serve literally no purpose other than to provide a structural base for the actual floors of the ship. So we might actually run uh, cables, oh shoot, cables and stuff through them, but probably not. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to pull up Discord on my phone real quick for uh, ship ideas while we weld. Apply to all. Uh, Sim Haven. Oh, thanks for the cheer, Ranger. Yeah, come on, guys, keep that hype train going. Let's let's go. <laughs> hey, Brad, welcome. Hype train complete. Oh, we received a level 2 hype train emote. Hold on, I kind of want to click this. What's this do? 7 subs, 700 bits. Hell yeah. Hype eyes, yes. Hype emotes. Thanks, devil. Appreciate it. Oh, we got some nice doggo emotes. That's what we like to see. All right, let's check our bolts. I know it's a nasty selection, but it'll do. That'll do. <laughs> 
We got some really nice emotes out of that. Those are nice. Hell yeah. Such strong support. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. I can't wait until we can... Uh, until Starbase is a little bit uh, more solid all around, and then we'll, we can start doing community events. Because you, you better believe we're going to be doing some fun community events. The 2020 Hype Collection. Okay. That kind of sounds like... Uh, like... <laughs> I don't know, like we got the... Oh yeah, I got the 2020 uh, Gucci Hype Collection. <laughs> I don't know. Just spouting off the top of the cranium. Okay, so those floors are in. <laughs> Come on, Ranger. It's it's great. It's great. Also, what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to lower the floor in here. So we've got this beam that goes all the way to the front that's kind of raised. What I want to do is I want to take this whole thing and make it lower so that it's, uh, yeah, like literally just like this. Uh, and then this way we can have our f a little bit of extra floor space up here, which is kind of just perfect because that way it supports the floor and we can have like just a little bit of extra space, a little bit of headroom. So we'll delete this and then hook these up. And then actually we're gonna use the these beams here just so that it might be a little bit easier if we're running stuff all the way to the front. All right. Now it is a, a 192 fits perfectly on one side, not the other. I was going to say, if it fits perfectly on both sides, that might be incredible. Alright, uh, let me take a look. So the Ibis, Ibis, I'm not sure how, man, I am not good with pronouncing things. If there's one thing I'm ever remembered for, it's going to be pronouncing things real shitty. But, um, okay. How big is that, um, Hyper, how big is that ship? Like, length and height? Because that looks like it's a reasonably sized uh, gunship. And yeah, thing, things fitting perfectly. What's that? I don't think we could ever get those. Yeah, I, I, I figured all of the EVE ships are massive, but like what we're working with is not necessarily like Titans and things like that, where those are like huge. I don't think it's gonna weld, but let's just see. Hey, I mean, the smallest ones being 60 meters long is actually pretty decent for this. And also it's, oh, Oh, it works. Hold up. We're going to have to put some extra support on here because this is crying. But, um. Yeah, we're going to have to do something to support this. Uh, we have to put one on the other side. So let's just actually move this back. And then let's move it back so that this corner is right there. Alright, there we go. Let's weld that. The smallest ones are like 60 meters. Yeah, honestly most of those ships might just be better for, um, what's it called? Uh, I'm trying to think, uh, capital ships. I think these are just complaining because of, uh, yeah, because it's at an unsupported angle. So like, 
it, it's able to connect, but just... We're gonna have to work something out, because beams like this are really annoying. It's like, we can't live without it, but we can't live with it. You feel me? So, it's a little difficult. For now though, I think what we can do is we can just do it on the other side. Also realize that the other side we kind of messed up a little bit because it's supposed to be lower than it is. Um, I guess I might have done an earlier revision and not fixed this. Interesting. Okay. So, and then we'll move it right there. Except that it doesn't fit perfectly for some reason. But we'll put our 15 degree beams here. And yeah, the, the build area is super small. I wish they would either increase the build area or the voxel volume limit. Because that would be really nice to have. Just imagine, like, if we had a bigger voxel volume. Because, like, this is going to reach the maximum. I think this is already halfway to the voxel limit. But... And this will be red as well. Yeah. Because unsupported angle. Um, let's check. Yeah, we're at 0.8 out of 2 of the voxel volume limit. Um, one thing I do want to keep an eye out for. Okay, objects. Hopefully we won't hit that. We shouldn't hit that. But if we do, we want to keep an eye out. Alright, so yeah. That's, that's the thing, alright. They're at an unsupported angle, and we can't do jack shit about it. Um, what if I did this with that? Does that do anything? Okay. Alright, so an unsupported angle, this yellow, is not good because it's yellow. But a yellow is a 1.0 warp class if it's connected otherwise properly. If it's just a beam is connected at an unsupported angle, that's all right. So, effectively, it's all right. Now, hold on, gotta delete this. Uh, we'll reweld. You can't find scale, okay. I suppose we can give a better uh, look later. So bolting might be the only way that we can actually get these in. Uh, this just brings me back to um, me wanting the, uh, what's it called? The squares the devs were talking about, like it's it's a, a bolt, uh, or it's like the attachment plates that we had and uh yeah decaying so what you can do so uh real quick uh i guess for anyone who wants to know how to do cruise so say you've got your lever all right so uh your you pop in you know you bring it up so pretend this is your throttle so technically it's already in cruise mode when you just place it in and so you want to put it in cruise. What you do is you're going to have a button somewhere and uh, I'm just going to use a hybrid button for example. So what you're going to do is, ow, shoot, sorry, I just hit my knee on my desk, but you're going to rename centering speed to cruise. Ow, that hurt a lot. Um, so cruise. And then on your button, what you'll do is when it's on, uh, you want to have it set to uh, whatever, f 4 or above. Then you want to have button style 1. Button style 1 is toggle, and then you rename button state to cruise. Oh, oh, that's easy. Turtle is easy. Um, so what you're going to do is you're actually going to have the same button, except instead of uh, 4. So you're going to take your FCU. Uh, where's the FCUs? 
sometimes I have a brain, sometimes I don't. Here it is. Okay, so uh, it's the FCU general multiplier. So at 100, it's at full um, responsivity, but um, the lower that number goes, the less responsive it'll be. So basically you have a button that changes this field right here to a lower number, and that'll be your turtle mode. And just toy around with uh, what speed you, or what percentage you want it at. And yeah, super easy, super straightforward. Also, so guys, I am gonna be putting this here. Actually, you know, I have a question for you guys. So we've got our, uh, our warp core support. Do we wanna have it back here? Or do we want to have it over the connection point for the thruster? And yeah, Brad, like, honestly, like, I know so much about the game, but jeez, sometimes, sometimes brain, brain be gone. But what do you guys think? Forwards or backwards? Because we could have it in either spot. And it doesn't require power or anything. Just know, like, the area that this is in is, um not going to have the uh, main generator. Okay. And then we'll put the main generator around this. And before you guys say anything, yes, the main generator having it more exposed might not be great. Um, actually, it might be better to have this up there to protect that main generator. But the only parts of a generator that will explode are the actual uh, fuel rod. Where is it? It's machinery, power. When you have a fuel chamber and you actually have the fuel rod in there, that is the only part of a generator that will explode. Fuel rods by themselves, when they're disabled, they don't explode. So you'll never have to worry about them. So just keep that in mind when you're actually designing ships. Because something that I've done in the past when I'm building ships is I'll literally just have the... Um, the uh, generators made in such a way that what's really outward facing is the generator uh, units themselves. And if the generator units get damaged, yeah, it doesn't matter. So it really only matters for the, um, the actual fuel rod chamber. Oh, we don't not want to remove like a bunch of bolts there. And one, two, three, four, two, three, four. All right. So that's green that's good all right so if you guys remember my thruster my generator tutorial so we're gonna have to make this in a very specific way to not really fry our generator but on the other hand frying our generator might be necessary in this case so what we're gonna do so we're actually going to use something that I don't like using, and I think a lot of people don't like using either. Do we want to use these or 45 degrees? Uh, I don't know. Because I want to get this out to where... I think we might actually use enhancers. I don't like enhancers because of how expensive they are. Just it seems like a needless waste. Um, but I mean, we can. All right, so we'll do this, uh, then put in our straight beams right here, and we'll turn those to 45 degrees and see how they work. Okay, it, it is too expensive. All right, sounds good, Hyper. We we actually may legitimately have like a cafeteria on board, or like uh, we're at least gonna have like med bay and stuff like that. We'll have some role play areas on board this ship, one hundred percent, like for sure. But um, so actually, you know, I was worried about this in the beginning, guys. Like I was actually kind of worried because if you guys remember in the last Nebulon. We could only have a certain number of weapons on board, and that kind of ruined how many weapon stations we could have. Well, um, I'm happy to report that that changed. Um, 
Also, yeah, this is exactly what I didn't want to happen. But if you look at our building budget, the weapons used to be 30. The number of weapons we could have, it's now at 120. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> oh, yes, oh, yes, that is a lot of firepower. It's going to be hefty. So I am quite looking forward to that. Because if we can just have, like, that many guns, yes. Just more yes. Now, I don't think this is going to line up either. Yeah, this isn't going to line up. Um, this is why I don't like the 30 to 45 degrees. And Ranger, um, hopefully, uh, hopefully soon, um... Oh, it's still 30 ship weapons? Oh, okay. Gotcha. Oh, it might be because of uh, the mounted guns. But, um... So, yeah, I want to restart them. I want to get back on the Morgan as soon as we can. Like, as soon as we can. The only issue is we haven't been given access to the CA ships. And honestly, I don't think... With how everything's been going, I don't think we're ever going to get access to them. So, really, and I've, I've been talking closely with some of the devs about this because, um, well, I mean, we all have reasons to be concerned. If, if it comes down to it, um, what we might have to do is take the, tor the torpedoes from the Morrigan and then build a new ship. Or potentially, you know, rebuild the Morrigan because it's going to be uh, rough. Um, CA ship is from Closed Alpha. So, um, one of the Closed Alpha ships that I built. Alright, so we'll do this. This way we can actually extend our generator out a little bit more. Um, and we want it to be kind of centered, which this is centered. Um... So if you guys remember in my uh, generator tutorial, when you have more generator units next to each other, they use, or they produce a lot more heat. So we could literally just make a massive chunk of generators. I'm not sure if it'll, uh, yeah, it, it won't. Uh, actually, it might in some areas. Hold on, let me check. We'll go okay so in some areas it'll go all the way up to the ceiling but um yeah so what i think we'll do is we'll have like rows so something like this maybe something like this and then uh so that's actually hold up this needs to be moved all right, so that's three. So what we would do is we would have four fuel chambers because a fuel chamber can do, actually, I think it's different with uh, tier twos, but we'll just go by what we know. So a single generator looks kind of like that. Uh, let me make sure I didn't select that. And then what we do is we have another one like over here and then another one also on the other side. Because we want to have like a very powerful main generator. But what I was thinking for the main generator, instead of doing like this, what we can do is this. Because, so the thing is, when we have it on the outside, there becomes an issue that somebody can actually directly hit this part of the generator and we do not want that so doing something like this where the uh, generator units might be able to take a hit that might save our butts and it gives us a little bit of uh, 
little structural things that we can move these up like this. Real nice and close, but not connected. And hey, Cookie. Well, they do uh, create less heat, but they also use a lot less fuel, Ranger. So like they, they have the same power output, but it's a lot less fuel. And the, the fuel is gonna be what we're going for because on this ship, we're, it's just, oh geez, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> This is, this is going to be the gas guzzler of the galaxy right here. That is a fun fact, Hyper. I did not know that. That's actually kind of weird to think about. Huh. I mean, I guess. I can't really refute it. <laughs> Let's get this in the proper spot. All right. And then we'll slide this in to where it fits nice. Do, do, do. So we want it basically 12 centimeters from that one. So this is 12. So let's see. Yeah, right there. Okay, so this is how the generator would be. And yeah, so Brad, we're gonna have a ton of uh, fuel rods in here. And then um, propellant tanks. We might actually need to requisition another deck down here for uh, fuel in the front either that or we can put the fuel up here in a secure spot but so like this would be the uh the lower well so they're they're tier two so their usage is pretty good already but i guess we can do um where are they See, the only thing is, like, they require, like, a lot of the materials on here, like, okay, we do need a lot of very expensive, faraway materials. Hmm. I mean, I guess if we're already collecting them, may as well use... What's the triangle in front of the pla main plasma thrusters going to be used for? Oh, these triangles? Uh, Brad, like, are you talking about, like, in this area? right here uh, yeah you guys can see my cursor and yeah that's fair so may as well use enhancers we'll put them on top below that like this area like in the front here or in the back here so I guess just uh, front or back Okay, cool. Yeah, I just wanted to back. Yeah, so that's going to be mainly a lot of propellant storage. Um, so, also, see, that's the thing. I'm not. So, enhancers, they have a beam that shoots out of them, and I think it. Is it different? Yeah, it's different for each of the tiers, like how far it reaches. Uh, but, so, they essentially decrease the amount of I think they just decrease the amount of things that are needed. Hold on, let me check. Uh, it's been a while since I've Okay, so they provide boosts. So what it does is it provides a boost to some device characteristics. Delightful. Um, okay. So uh, a 60 so one enhancer is a 40% or okay, 50% reduction for tier two fuel slash coolant usage. Uh, so a tier two or three fuel chamber can provide six generator units with processed fuel for the same thing. So essentially we could actually like delete these two. 
right here and uh, use these enhancers. But I think I'm actually going to leave those in because if we leave the enhancers in, that will just double our fuel lifetime of these. So that way we just don't have to re plug things in as often. Which honestly might be handy. It depends on... Well, okay. We're going to have a ton of manpower. But having to switch stuff out less is nice in general. But okay, so we're actually going to establish... So let's go down here. Yeah, that uh, the engineer is certainly going to have a field day. We're actually probably going to have several engineers to be fair. Because um, like on the last Nebulon, uh, our, our engineering contingent was one to two people. This one will be a little bit more. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Fun, welcome. I think that is right where we want it. Yep, that is. And we're actually going to take off these bits, because we do not want those, because they might interfere. Yeah, we can... This area back here... Uh, so, we'll have another main generator, and it's actually going to be right here. Uh, that's going to be for just reasons of protection and if we lose one then we'll have propellant and extra fuel rods around here and yes we have a quite a large number of people now who are willing to help out with this and we are 100% going to be leveraging that because uh, to run this we are going to need it Oh, we're going to have to go under. Eh, that's fine. Come on. I don't know why my rotation is all messed up, but... Eh, it's whatever. <laughs> and just having... Uh, I honestly don't know about that. Because, like, if we know with other thrusters... So, uh, Ranger, having more... What I'm responding to is having more than one. Very fast donated ten dollars. Oh Thanks geez. for the Starbase videos. Yeah, th no problem, Scary. Thanks for the the uh, donation. I really appreciate that. And I'm not sure if having one more hard points on a plasma helps, because it doesn't on other thrusters. Yeah, but yeah, thank you again, Scary. I really appreciate that. More ice cream and Chick Fil A money. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I am actually starting to buy upgrades for my setup. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to bring my computer to, uh, soon, once I get settled in, my main computer. Uh, because, so my, you know, my family, they were like, oh, hey, go to, go to Micro Center. And, uh, like, get these, get these parts, because uh, my dad likes working on uh, lots of little tiny electronics projects. And they're actually pretty cool. But, so... Uh, go to Micro Center and it's like, hey, we've got, you know, 3070s, uh, 3060s and 3070s in stock. And uh, I made a bad financial decision. I mean, a long-term good financial decision, but my wallet is crying. <laughs> Big time. Big time. And yeah, it would definitely help if one is damaged. That, that's the whole thing. Well, uh, I would have done a 30... or Oh, jeez. That's even more expensive. Uh, I was thinking about it because they had a 3080 Ti. Um, but that was like 1500 And yeah, maybe not. <laughs> so I, uh, the 3070... I realize I'm more fortunate than a lot of people just even having that, but um, yeah, it's it's oh, it's expensive. But I was testing it out, and uh, while I'm streaming, I'm probably gonna get um, 60 frames a second in Starbase. But like, I was getting 144 frames a second in Starbase, like outside the SSC, 
which is insane. And I was able to stream and everything at the same time, and it was perfectly fine. So, they are way too much money, but it, it was... It, it was like 100 or 150 over MSRP. It was worth it for that close of... Alright, so now this is in. We've got this structural beam. So what I want to do is I want to split this up. So, actually, first off, I want to see if this is going to be a perfect length for us. It's literally, oh, it's 24 centimeters longer. That sucks. Um, okay, so I'm gonna delete this and we're gonna make it 24 centimeters shorter. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have these up the sides of the ship. That way we know kind of where our borders are so we can fill the inside as much as we need and not have to worry about it clipping outside the ship. And we'll just do it um, right right here at these connection points. Just so we have like a standardized spot where these go. Alright. There we go. Loop it up. Alright. And we won't do it pa down past this. Right there. You bought a 2070 for your first gaming rig and it'll last a while. Yeah. Plus games are honestly just advancing at such a big rate. But the, 20, the 2070, like, you know, that series was insanely... The 20 series was insanely expensive. And now we can get such a better price for 30 series cards. Well, once once they actually are not scalped and in stock. But, like, the thing is, the 20 series cards still hold up pretty decent. And they probably will for a while. For, I always say for instead of for. But they'll hold up for a while. It, it's... Because, like, I, I have a 2060, at least in here. It's a laptop version of a 2060, so take it with a grain of salt. Um, but, I swear, is this, like, a different size? I don't think it is. I think this is just being annoying for no reason. Yeah, you don't even need that if you're just playing World of Warcraft like Dan there. You've been back on the World of Warcraft grind, haven't you, Dan? By the way, I'm talking about uh, Diamond Hunter. Alright, come on. There we go. I, I don't even know anymore. Like, this is off by a tiny bit for some freak of nature. Yeah, they're all... I... Oh, boy. Honestly, I just... You gotta deal with the bugs. You gotta deal with the bugs. I, I thought they fixed them, because, um, like... We were having big issues with a lot of our, our older ships with those gaps. Because um, what it stems from is a copy and pasting bug. Um, but I guess it's not all the way fixed. Yeah. And oh, you're playing... Yeah, TBC Classic. Yeah. yeah, I am about to do a Burning Crusade on gaps. It's just we we like buy a ship and all it has is tons of gaps on it and we just like explode it to I'm sorry Does it doesn't count as connect 
connected. Ah. The beam, yeah, the beam needs bolts. I, you know, sometimes I just don't understand. I... Like, literally, why? Why? Why exactly? I'm not even doing anything, I'm just... I'm literally just shaking it around and saying, work. I'm literally doing percussive maintenance. For anyone who doesn't know, that is maintenance where you just hit the thing and it starts working again. And that's how you fix cars, by the way. You just give it a good slap and call it a day. I've done that plenty of times. Fix some uh, mirrors doing that. Yeah, j just pretend like you know what you're doing. You know, like, keep just kind of doing stuff. And if it works, then dope. If it doesn't, well, sh shit. <laughs> yeah, the best kind of maintenance. Alright, please work. Yeah, it's learning where to hit it. That's the key. <laughs> and then like in Sprocko's, learning how to... In Sprocko's case, learning how to taste the coolants. <laughs> Alright, a little shaky shaky, another quick weld. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm a mechanical engineering student. That's how you know you're destined. All right, so it's all green by some freak of nature. Um, so okay, what we're gonna do back here is, um, so we'll get our spaceship modules also guys if you don't know these exist learn them because these are so insanely helpful the spaceship module starter kit you don't have to assemble your propellant tanks or whatever yourself they're literally all assembled for you down here and like it, they have tier one box and triangle thrusters and all of that so nice and you do the same to your rts games yeah exactly just use more force or like uh warhammer 40k universe the uh what's it called um the uh is it just the imperium where they're just like superiority through overwhelming firepower i just like this because i can't put it there i can put it like further back and it'll be fine but Yeah, everything fits with the run-up. Like, we could put it back here and have it be fine, which is annoying. We're actually going to have this over here. And we're going to put this in several spots so we get a good connection. Um, yeah, it's all because of the... It's all green because of mechanical engineering. Uh, Literally, this degree that I'm working towards, saving my ass right now. Petition to make propellant tanks act like batteries, if connected at the ends. Well, see, Ranger, that's the thing. Batteries don't connect on the ends. Remember? Because you remember, uh, every everyone's daily reminder, um, sorry. Again, sorry, but everyone's daily reminder that the, the holes aren't symmetrical uh, on either side. Like, So if, if you put two next to each other, the, the holes aren't on the same side. Like This is towards that side, this is towards this side. Just your daily reminder. They're not actually symmetrical. <laughs> They do now. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll have to check that out because that might actually be real handy. And I'm 
I'm gonna use this. So we need to shorten it by 12 centimeters and 12 centimeters, so by 24. So this 72 needs to turn into a 48. Cool. Now, why are you doing this, you ask? It's so I can uh, place it in an area where I can mount my um, propellant tanks real easy. Ah, okay. I mean, I figured that the batteries just did connect somehow, magically, but that actually, okay. That is a little handy. Okay. But, okay, either way, it still, it still annoys me that they don't look symmetrical. Like, that, that's a little... It makes me a little sad on the interior. Sometimes the exterior, but... And so the idea I'm thinking is propellant tank go here, then it can bolt up there, and then it'll bolt here, and we can have them placed like right there, and then just, you know, have an explosive core along here. Now, of course, these are going to be reinforced, especially at the back, but they'll have double layering here, maybe even triple layering from this angle, just because of the exterior plates we're putting on. Yeah, but these yeah these don't connect like they normally do because what what we could do since they don't connect like that is we can do something like this Hold on, let me pull it out and rotate it and yeah hyper we um like we're not gonna stop anyone from joining like of course we have to do the quick interview but we're not gonna stop anyone from joining because they're part of a specific group Unless, of course, they're, like, hostile and trying to mess with us. Now, with this, we are going to have to change a couple things around. We're actually going to want to move this down uh, 12 centimeters. But, yeah, let's, let's move this down 12 centimeters real quick. Yeah, like, the fuel tanks are easily going to be the easiest. Aw, uh, no. Yeah. The snapping uh, gods have decided. No. I'm going to make it into a module. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do our classic... Snapping trick. Dude. Uh, snap. Snap you to snap here. There, and that's 12 centimeters. Easy money. Uh, are you out of here, Ranger? Alright, see ya. See ya, Ranger. Have a good one. I don't know if I caught you, but... Um, okay, yeah, have a good night, and thanks for all the subs and everything. Really appreciate you. And, uh, yeah, like, I'm literally the, trust me, I'm an engineer. <laughs> and, yeah, you can't run a duct. Um, it is going to be a little annoying, but... It won't be the end of the world for us. Hopefully, it won't be the end of the world, but... Yeah, honestly, animals are a little bit more difficult than everyone thinks they are. Like, you know, my family got a dog. It was a little bit too much for my sister as well when we were younger. And what I think I could do is we can put out beams along the bottom of these to bolt these in real nice and easy. L let me show you what I'm thinking, all right? Uh, we want to like this. So like that, and then we get a 96 in here. 
We want a 72, and I'm going to show you why. So if we do the same thing over here, right? And then we just have a beam that runs along the outside here. Except a 192 is not exactly perfect, so... We want it like this. And then, um, actually, funnily enough, we want it to be like this. That's a 72. Um, so we want, actually, we got to make this janky. And I'm going to show you why. So if we do this, we've got a 24 here. And then a 36 that goes in here. And then we can do this. And then just copy and copy, etc. Um, so hyper, like when we do stations with SOS, it's all over the place. Like honestly, making stations where you need is what you want to do, where you're doing your mining. So if you're doing like mining really far out, you want to be making your stations well where the, where the money is so really far out also i think we miscalculated by 12 centimeters and yeah flash we are 100 percent going to be using ducts because this ship is going to 100 percent heat them and it's going to give us a lot of extra reliability when we get shot at We'll just make this a 48. And then I think we, we just have to alternate. Nope, we just use 48 from here on out. So basically the idea is what we do is this. And we just keep copying and pasting, copying and pasting. And this will give these propellant tanks a support structure beneath them. And uh, also everything's connected nicely. If we were to say do this, it's all green. Um, you, you, your mom turned the house into a zoo. Oof. That, that's the way it goes sometimes. Yeah, we're gonna have... One thing we might do is uh, have some people who uh, specifically are putting in... Uh, like, helping with extra bolts. And putting making sure everything is ship-shape. And... Uh, this hyper, this costs a lot. Let me show you in a second. And sure, Brad hit us with the pets list. <laughs> I'm ready, I think. Nope, we don't want to select that. We want to select this. Move it to the other side. And shift, select the rest. Move it like that, and then right there is perfectly where we need it. Uh, nope, still not Razu, sadly. Um, I keep DMing the devs about it, and there's still nothing. So my hope is kind of waning, sadly, that we'll actually be able to get them back. So we might have to go into the... Uh, videos and get like the torpedo script ourselves get it ourselves and then go from there yeah it is sad I really wish that we didn't have to do that but so is the way alright and then we'll bolt those in alright Four dogs, 16 cats, 12 ducks, eight, eight or nine chickens, five and a sack, five and a six, five or six half breeds. 
Jeez. Yeah, we only have a cat, a dog, and I think a frog, if it's still kicking. Um, but holy crap, that's a lot of animals. And so what's with the Morgan is essentially we can't bring the blueprint from closed alpha into early access for an indeterminate amount of time. So, uh, yeah, big issues with that. Alright, but now these are all bolted in and they're really in a good spot. So what I want to do is I want to set up our generator down here. But I want to have it so that this area still looks really cool. So that we have our uh, like a big hall. Um, and if we wanted, we could theoretically put in a potential... Hold on. Could we do it if we wanted? We could put in another row of <laughs> propellant tanks if we wanted. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, flash, no. We haven't deleted the uh, uh, old blueprints, uh, but the new Starbase installation rewrote them. So, sadly not. And it's all in a small house, and you want... Oh, once more? Yikes! Yeah, that that's, as I like to say, a fat yikes. And so, Mike, we need, we need this much propellant because this ship is going to be a gas guzzler. Like, holy crap, is this going to be using tons of propellant? Speaking of using tons of propellant, though... I forgot to do something that I'm going to do now. Uh, actually, first off, I'm going to put the generators in, and then we're going to do what I forgot, and that's putting on the maneuver thrusters as early as possible. And by maneuver thrusters, I mean box and triangle thrusters in all of our various fun ways. Alright, then we'll get an enhancer in here. That's fair. Yeah, that, that must be a lot of animals to deal with. Jeez. So I also do want to do our fuel calculations, or our uh, rather our calculations for how much power all of this consumes. Um, see, Foltier, we haven't deleted them, but when Starbase... Uh, like actual Starbase was installed, what it did is it reset the uh, folder. It uses the same folder, and I didn't have the I didn't have the saves. Like I, I double checked everything. It is sadly not there. What I'm thinking is we could actually do this. So if we have four here again. Oh, is it going to collide there? Yeah, hold on, we got to... We can't have this... Yeah, it's going to collide like that. We need to put it in another 12 centimeters. Yeah, I should have backed him up, but, um, you know, I still thought at this point that we would actually, you know, get access to them. Like, because they said that was a thing that was going to be happening. Like, we would have access to the CA blueprints. Because the people who Im who backed them up, you know, they have them, but the people who didn't kind of screwed like me. And I am a little annoyed about that, to be fair. Alright, now we should be able to... Right there. And then... One more stack on top of that. So, these are literally going to be pillars of generators. <laughs> that actually looks really cool. I'll have to check that out after stream then. Because, like, when I looked, it seemed to be that it was overwritten. Alright. So, there they are. Look at those bad boys. The stacks of generators. Alright weld um you know we may as well do a bolt all and start crying once we see how much stress this is going to add 
All right, also I wanna check our building budget. It's not too bad. Okay, so that's fine. These are complaining. Just bolt more. Easy money. Oh, come on. All right, so what's your issue? Okay, so there's just an insane amount of bolts. One of the lowest valid, you know, okay, for the ship, Shooting for 1.0 warp class might just be <laughs> might might just be what we have to go for. Let's see if we can add in more bolts. All right. 